What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex, MTV Alex, and today I want to talk about a little bit about the drawbacks kinda of riding an e-bike for a couple of days. But before I do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing, turn the notification bell on. If you haven't if you want to support the channel, link down in the description. Other than that, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I'm riding my uh, double suspension, my T8. By the way, I did some upgrades to that. If those tires look familiar, because they're actually the ones from the Axum. They're 2.6. Originally, it came with WTVs 2.4s, WTVs uh, Trail Bus 2.4, which they were great. But yesterday, when I changed them, I did notice weight saving. So these tires are actually a little bit lighter, a few ounces lighter than the 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 2.4s even though these are 2.6 so it's a gain right there i'm about 2.72 miles in 16.21 minutes into the ride and uh i rode my e-bike yesterday and the day before two days in a row and uh you know whenever you this is something i don't know maybe a lot of you don't know but i noticed that uh, having an e-bike is not necessarily easier because if you want to have fun you actually need to pedal as hard as you would your regular bike okay so what does that mean so if you pedal just less hard to go to the same speed as you would go on this one then you're not putting any effort however if you pedal as hard as you would pedal on this one that's when you see the the effects on an e-bike which is gonna make you go faster like uh, three four miles per hour faster on the eco mode that's on the eco mode and that's when you start having fun however with that being said i rode like 10 miles each day for the past couple of days on the e-bike and i gotta say i did push it and today i don't feel too slow but my legs are burning right now so my legs are burning I'm still gonna try to do the 10 miles the same loop as before and if I do the same loop I will do a comparison between the two times and a video a comparison video between the two times on the two different on this one and the e-bike I know the e-bike is gonna be much faster I mean much faster but I want to see a comparison that's if I do the 10 mile loop today because I'm like I said I'm I'm a bit tired I'm not gonna lie now getting back into the bike, this is a Polygon CSQ T8. However, this is not the 2022. This is last year's. I think it's a 2020 or 2021, whatever. The new one is, is purple. This one, when I bought it, there was two editions. This one, which is the 30th, 30th anniversary special edition. And another one with two different colors. However, this one was a little more expensive because of the color, I guess the 30th anniversary, but I wanted the black one. Since then, a few things have changed, especially on the suspension. The new ones come with Fox. These two are RockShock. However, they're comparables to each other. I think, uh, I'm not sure if all the other components are the same. You got the Shimano SL, uh, I think it's the SLX group set in this one. Yeah, Shimano SLX group set on this one front and rear 12 speed 11 to 51 tooth cassette three positions now why did i touch why did i touch two subjects on this video is because i really think bikes online or polygon they have the best bang for buck on the bikes i highly recommend those bikes this thing has been a beauty zero problems and almost you don't need any modifications out of the box. Like this one, the only things I have changed is the saddle, the pedals, and just yesterday the tires, and that's just for the preference. The reason I got the 2.6 is because the, the e-bike, the N Bromo and the Mon Bromo N7, it comes with 2.6 tires as well. Uh, they're uh, Magic Marys. And uh, when I look down and I see the thickness of the tire, I'm like, shit, I remember that. And then I remember that I had those tires from the Axum before I sold them because I took them out. I'm like, you know what? I want the same 
fat tire look on this bike so that's why i went ahead and put them on there's nothing wrong with the w wtv stro bus 2.4s they're super grippy they're perfect for this kind of terrain highly recommended but i love the way it looks right now uh again this one just was just a short little video six minutes if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to support the channel link down in the description don't forget to subscribe turn the notification bell on and stay tuned for tomorrow's video uh i got the e specs on the mon bromo coming up that's it for this one let's ride see you on the trails goodbye hi guys made it home uh and i did the 10 miles so almost 10 miles 56 33 today tired remember at the beginning of the video yesterday e by 53 12. so less than four minutes difference so like <laughs> there you go now you're talking again like i said i was tired today so this is trial one i guess i can do another trial like uh really put effort both times and get a better result and uh yep now this is it for this one and i'll see you on the trails goodbye